So she was our first soloist, and mom, dad, I'll make sure she gets programs for her memory book with her name properly typed in. There we go. And please welcome to the keyboard, Annalyn. All right, well, I know that you are here to hear your children and um, children of your friends, but we also have a very special guest this evening. And I'm very honored to have our guest here, uh, Patrick Lamb, 
He is an amazing jazz musician, a great advocate of music and music education, as well as jazz education. Perhaps you've seen him in the community. I encourage you to check his website and go check out other things that he's doing. But Patrick is going to join us at this time. So please welcome Patrick Lamb to the stage. So great to be here. This is a beautiful school, and uh, I like I like that um, being considered an advocate of music because I consider it um, really something that gives your kids an edge. So some of the parents are here. You know, there's so much there's so much information that shows that um, your kids that study music they have higher SAT scores. They get along with kids better. You know, they go to jail less. They <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they have higher uh, self esteem. Um, and generally, neuro, you know, neuroscientifically speaking, their, their brains work better. So uh, I'm an obvious advocate. I love music. I'm grateful to be a part of this. Um, her energy is so uh, um, contagious. And I just want to give this whole group a big hand and uh, this amazing music teacher. <laughs> Thank you. 
awesome. Let's give a round to Chloe and to Annalyn on the Bard Network. That's awesome. All right. And of course to Adam over there playing the 2526. Two, Anybody figure out the beats of that pattern? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you may have been aware, again, that the uh, carnival that the PTA so fabulously